Good day ladies and gents, this video is going to be about Tarkov settings for point 13 patch. Uh, I'll try to share the best settings up to my knowledge, I'll tell you which settings do what and which of them uh, affect the frames the most. So to begin with, the first thing we should need to do right now, um, you need to go into the settings, you go into the sound settings, and you need to disable binaural audio. If this thing has a tick on, make sure you disable it save it and restart the game. Right now there are plenty of problems with binaural audio in the game, I'm not gonna go too deep into that, but um, I've seen some cases and I had some confirmations that for some PCs, binaural audio can half your frames. Literally half. I can, I, I've seen dozens of streamers, if they disable binaural audio, they get 150 frames, if they enable it, they get 70 frames. Uh, so that's the first thing you do. Disable binaural audio and there's like a 50 chance you will double your frames, I'm not kidding. And the rest of the settings will be tested on Streets of Tarkov. So yeah, let's get straight uh, into it. And we are on Streets of Tarkov. Let's go through settings. Um, I'll go back to the texture quality and shadows, as well as the uh, MIP shimming a bit later. It's gonna be towards the end of the video. So the first thing you see is object LOD quality. That actually determines uh, the distance at which objects render at a higher quality. For example, that building texture, the windows, it might be a bit more smudged if you have the setting on, on low. Um, or some objects might not even render. So the higher the number, the higher the distance. But this also affects your frames on maps such lighthouse and streets. That's a very important settings. Right now I'm getting 128, 130 frames in offline. 100, yeah, 120 frames in offline. I typically would get around 80 in online. And if we increase object LOD, that will have um, a bad effect on our frames. I lose around 10, maybe 15% frames on Streets and Lighthouse. So if you like to play those maps, make sure you turn it down. That will give you 10% extra frames. Um, overall visibility, I typically keep it at 400. It doesn't really change much. Um, I don't think it changes your FPS much either. But yeah, I keep it, I keep it on minimum. TAA. Um, Anti-aliasing is a personal preference. If you like your game to be super crispy, super sharp, turn it off. Um, I don't think anti-aliasing affects your frames too much, maybe like by 3% or so. Um, and I like to keep it on uh, TAA. Some people say it's a bit too blurry, but I prefer TAA and I keep it on. The game looks a bit better and it's also not as pixelated on the stream. The next setting is... Uh, resampling, don't touch it, it simply affects your resolution. Um, if you put it if you put it on 2x, it doubles your resolution, 4x, uh, it multiplies it by 4. The game will look sharper and nicer, but if you don't have a super strong GPU, it will affect your frames a lot. Right now I'm running uh, NVIDIA RTX 4080, and even with this setup, I can still get some frame drops. I'm playing on Full HD. So don't touch for sampling, uh, there is no need to, like, there's no need to touch it. If you're playing on 2K, just choose 2K resolution here. So resampling, off, always off. Um, NVIDIA DLSS, I don't think it changed much from the previous patch. I don't think VG upgraded DLSS to uh, 3.0. So my advice is not to use it. Maybe if you play on 4K, you can use balanced or something. Personal preference. Um, FSR 1, I think it's the same as the last patch. FSR 2, I heard I heard good reviews about FSR 2.1 for this patch. Um, so if you have an AMD card or even have an uh, NVIDIA GPU and you still want to try FSR, uh, feel free to. It works the same as uh, DLSS, just a technology from AMD. So it doesn't look too bad on 2K or 4K and it actually takes some, uh, some load off your GPU. So FSR, give it a go if you want to. Next thing is HBAO. Uh, that is the setting for shadows. Um, if you have it on max performance, high, ultra, whatever, like the lower you go, the higher is the quality of the changing shadows. However, it does affect your frames. Right now we are at 126, let's say 129. Enable HBAO. It actually didn't change much. Interesting. However, I'm pretty sure HBO does affect frames and I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend putting it high. Like, use those settings. I, I, I typically keep it off. Um, SSR is a sp sp 
screen space reflections, I think. Uh, and basically what it does, it gives you a better reflection on the um, on the water. But it does lower your frames on maps like Lighthouse and Woods, because there is a lot of water around. And uh, therefore more rendering needs to be done, therefore you get worse frames. So let's aim in this area. I think this is water. So if I change settings, you should be able to see some difference. 142 frames. Nope, didn't change much. Uh, maybe there isn't much water on streets. Like, for example, this area is watery. Um, and if there isn't much water, it doesn't affect your frames too much. I typically played with SSR on, on the lowest setting in the previous patch. Uh, but I decided to turn it off when I started playing more of Lighthouse, because it did affect my frames. I think I lost about 10, maybe 15 frames on Lighthouse, so I disabled, I disabled that setting. Um, SSR, off. Well, yeah, the water the water kind of disappears. It looks nice. It doesn't affect your frames too much. So I would say that's that's your personal preference. Um, and isotropic filtering, uh, I don't I don't I don't feel like it really makes much difference in Tarkov. I keep it off. Um, that that makes that makes sure that the textures are rendered properly at a longer distance. Um, what else do we have? Nvidia low latency. I don't think it makes any 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 difference to be honest. If you put it on and on and boost, it literally unlimits your frames. That's the only reason I'm using it to not have any limits on the frames. Overall, that technology is supposed to make sure that your input delay with your mouse and keyboard is lowered as much as possible. But personally, I haven't noticed much difference with it on or off. Um, sharpness. Personal preference, FPS limit, nothing, nothing to change. Z blur, chrome abbreviations, noise, keep it off. It makes your eye image very noisy, very ugly. No reason to use that. Grass shadows, um, I keep it off. It affects your performance, and you typically don't see that much of a difference. High quality is said to affect the performance too, but I haven't seen any difference. So if you were to have it on or off, I don't think it makes any difference whatsoever. And I think right now we should talk about. Texture quality, shadows, and uh, mid streaming. So first of all, texture quality. Um, I would advise to play on medium or low this wipe, not high. I can't confirm that this is with anyone um, that it's to do with the textures. However, even if you have high frames in the game, for example, 100 frames on streets or like 110 frames on customs, there is a problem in the game with the frame rendering at the moment. So even though you have very high frames, it will feel uh, like your game is running at 60, 70 frames. And that's to do with the frame rendering. The game might be skipping the render of some frames. And I have a feeling it might to do with the higher textures. Because I had more, I definitely had more input lag when I played on high texture settings in the previous wipe. So I couldn't play on high settings. Even though it didn't affect my frames much, I felt the input lag. And this wipe, it feels much worse with the uh, frame render. Last wipe, it happened only on Lighthouse, but this wipe, it happens on every map. I have no idea what it's to do with, but it might be to do with the high, uh, high texture quality. So keep it on medium, uh, hello. Mip streaming. Mip streaming worked pretty bad last wipe. Uh, people's games were crashing, um, and I still don't think it works properly. So I, decide, uh, I decided to keep mip streaming off in the previous wipe for the obvious reasons. Even though I said that people should keep it on after some testing, I changed my mind. And I would say the easiest way to determine if you need to use mip streaming or not, if you have a um, very low end GPU, you can, check, um, you can check the usage of your VRAM. For example, you can do it via MSI Afterburner or you can do it via Task Manager. Just go to Tasks, Performance, um, GPU, and there we go. Dedicated GPU memory. This is how much this is how much memory is being used at the moment. Um, and if we check here, memory usage 10, 10 gigabytes. If you activate uh, mid streaming, that's going to reduce your memory usage. So, for example, if you have a very low end card and you want to play streets. Uh, put on low settings that will decrease memory usage uh, by a significant amount and if you apply mip streaming it's gonna decrease memory usage even further so theoretically your game should run uh, better because you're not running out of your vram 
and shadows quality didn't see much of a difference keep it on low just in case if it affects my performance and another thing which I want to mention is from the previous wipe there are some Nvidia settings which I used I haven't seen much of a difference but some of my mods and some of my viewers told me that it gave them additional frames so if you go to your Nvidia control panel um, I'll post those screenshots in the description if you want to if you want to see them yourself and apply a couple of settings to the escape from Tarkov so anisotropic filtering change it to application controlled anti-aliasing mode override any application settings uh, anti-aliasing settings to X I mean I'm not gonna talk too much about this because I'm not an expert in uh, CUDA cores or uh, the way the whole system works in the control panel drivers and the game um, so yeah those are the recommended settings heard some good stuff about them uh, feel free to try them see if they work for you uh, definitely definitely worth giving it a try and I think this is more or less it for this wipe if I get any new information, I'll uh, let you know in the in the pinned comment. But yeah, so far the main thing: don't use high textures. MIP shimming is uh, and hundred percent disabled by Nora Audio. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Let me know now in the comments below how the game is running for you. The swipe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.